Make a fight, Harry. Um, tēnā koe, Mr. Speaker. Tēnā tato katoa ngā memo te whare nei. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it gives me absolute uh, privilege and honour to stand in support of the final reading of this significant uh, omnibus bill. Uh, first, Mr. Speaker, I need to mihi to Te Arawa Waka. Uh, te Arawa Waka, Te Arawa Tangata, uh, no mai, no mai haramai. No mai haramai ki tato whare i tēnei wā. A hari ko te ngākau ka kite ki te akoutou mo tēnei wā, nō reira tēnā koutou o kurauranga tira mā. Koutou, tato. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I, um, um, in the time allotted to us, it's, it's going to be a challenge to recognise a significant day uh, here today in Te Arawa's, uh, history, and I do want to acknowledge the people that have travelled uh, from afar to be here today. I particularly want to acknowledge the rangatahi, the faces that are joining us here in the gallery. Uh, you are our future, and I do want to specifically mihi to you uh, this day. Mr Speaker, I'm going to try and condense my uh, talk, but I want to go on record um, acknowledging the significant day today and the, particularly the three iwi that have joined us here. And I'm going to quickly acknowledge uh, the summary history of each three groups. So bear with me. It'll be a bit of speed reading, um, but I do want to do this in seriousness to um, acknowledge uh, the work that has gone on to uh, bring us here today. Mr Speaker, um, Ngāti Rangi Wewehi uh, is a Te Arawa iwi based in the Rotorua area. Um, in referencing their summary of historic background to the claims, uh, it describes the constructive relationship that developed between the Crown and Ngāti Rangi Wewehi in the 1840s and 50s. However, when the Crown brought war to Tauranga in 1864, members of Ngāti Rangi Wewehi went to assist their traditional allies. The Crown regarded Māori who fought in the Tauranga battles as rebels and confiscated 290,000 acres of land around Tauranga, including land in which Ngāti Rangi Wewehi had customary interests. The Crown retained 50,000 acres and returned the remainder to Māori. However, all customary interests in the returned lands were compulsorily extinguished. Kiriopa Tarau was a member of Ngāti Rangi Wewehi, in 1864, during the Waikato War, his wife and daughter were killed by Crown forces. In the Eastern Bay of Plenty in 1865, a group of Māori killed a mis missionary who had previously sent the Crown a plan of the pa, where Kiriopa's whānau were killed. In 1871, Kiriopa was convicted of the murder of the missionary and sentenced to death. Mr Speaker, the historic account also discusses the impact on Ngāti Rangi Wewehi of the land laws introduced in the 1860s and how in the 1870s Ngāti Rangi Wewehi leaders criticised these laws and unsuccessfully called for tribal control of land and resources. In 1880, Ngāti Rangi Wewehi were among the Māori signatories to an agreement made with the Crown to establish a township, Rotorua. A committee of local chiefs concluded Ngāti Rangi Wewehi, Wewehi had interest in the township blocks, but the Native Land Court did not award Ngāti Rangi Wewehi any interest there. The Crown acquired most of the lands of Ngāti Rangi Wewehi prior to 1909. In the 1890s, the Crown purchased individualised shares in the block in the Kō Ngāti Rangi Wewehi Rohe before the block had been partitioned and the specific holdings of hapu and Fano had been defined. In 1896, the Crown applied to have its interests in the block defined and was awarded roughly a third of the block, including the most valuable land in the block and freshwater springs near Hamurana, which are taonga for Ngāti Rangi Wewehi. The historical account con concludes with the description of the 1966 taking from Ngāti Rangi Wewehi of a block near Ngongotaha. This block, which was compulsorily required by a local authority for waterworks purposes, contains springs known collectively as Tanifa Springs, which are central to Ngāti Rangi Wewehi traditions and our identity as an iwi. I understand a pump surface was built over the springs where it remains today. Mr Speaker, I'd like to amihi to the whānau of Ngāti Rangi Wewehi, particularly the kaumātuas and the negotiators for the mahi that you have done in bringing the bill to this House. Mr Speaker, I now want to turn and acknowledge Ngāti uh, Rangi Te O Rere, 
uh, Ngāti Tirangi Ōrere is a te arawa iwi situated on the eastern shores of Lake Rotorua. It is one of the eight beating hearts of Te Arawa, Ngāpū, Manawa e Waru. Mr Speaker, the uh, summary of historical backgrounds that led to the claims of Ngāti Rangi Te Aorere, uh, begins describes how Ngāti Rangi Te Aorere were drawn into New the New Zealand wars from the mid-1860s. Those Ngāti Rangi Te Aorere who supported the Crown during the wars did so at a considerable cost to themselves. Damned if you do and damned if you don't when you fight on the side of the Crown. Ngāti Rangi Te Aorere held all their lands under customary tenure when the native laws of the 1860s came into force. However, the Native Land Court was not designed to accommodate the complex and fluid customary land usages of Māori as it assigned permanent ownership to a clearly defined area of land. The title determination process also carried significant costs for Ngāti Rangi Te Aorere. In 1882, the Native Land Court investigated the ownership of the Whakapaungāko block and awarded much of it to members of Ngāti Rangi Te Aorere and neighbouring iwi. In 1990, the Native Land Court awarded the Crown 348 acres from the Ngāti Rangi Te Aorere subdivisions of Whakapau Ngāko in lieu of survey costs. The individualised interests acquired by the Crown were spread across the Whakapau Ngāko subdivisions, but the Crown persuaded Ngāti Rangi Te Aurere to allow the Crown's awards to form one contiguous parcel of land. The land awarded to the Crown was flat, fertile and easily accessible by road. The land that remained with Rangi, Ngāti Rangi Te Aurere was fragmented, and much of it was steep and inaccessible. Ngāti Rangi Te Aurere have always valued the tiki tere thermal ge uh, geothermal field highly for medicinal, spiritual and economic purposes. In 1853, without the consent of Ngāti Rangi Te Aurere, the Crown acquired the sole right to regulate the use of geothermal energy resources when the Geothermal Energy Act 1953 was enacted. Ngāti Rangi Te Aurere considers that the Crown had no authority to override the mana of Ngāti Rangi Te Aurere in the Tiki Tere geothermal field. In the early 1970s, the Crown purchased a land swap to extend the Lake Okaitaina Scenic Reserve. This involved the exchange of land in Whakapau Ngāko that Ngāti Rangi Te Aurere had significant ancestral connections with for land that they had no such connections with. As a result of this exchange, Ngāti Rangi Te Aurere were alienated from the Whakapaungāko Maunga, one of their most sacred sites. Mr Speaker, uh, tēnei te mihi ki ngā whānau whānui o Ngāti Rangi Te Aurere. Mr Speaker, I knew this was going to happen. Uh, to try and do justice to Tapuika, can I please mihi uh, to you and acknowledge uh, the efforts that you have done to bring uh, this this bill to the House um, and acknowledge uh, that you, uh, along with uh, Rangi Te Aurere and Ngāti uh, Rangi Wewehi, uh, have, have negotiated what I think is a, a, uh, not a, a, a settlement that we would all agree with, but something that would absolutely go towards the future development of you as the people of uh, Tapuika. Um, like I said in my early introduction, it was nice to mihi to our rangatahi that have joined us here today. Um, I uh, would like to leave the, the thoughts of, um, of supporting you in, uh, in your settlements today, but also to acknowledge uh, our futures are in their hands, um, and it is good that uh, they are here to join the significant day of the third and final reading of this bill. And I look forward to the uh, returns of your settlement uh, being put to good use to, one, preserve the mana, uh, the prestige that Te Arawa is renowned for, um, but particularly with the young uh, rangatahi coming through, um, the opportunities that I know are available to them uh, once this bill is passaged through. So, nō reira uh, inga iwi o Te Arawa. Uh, koutou. Mr Speaker, I commend this bill to the House. Mr Speaker. 
This bill, the purpose of this bill is to give effect to the deed of settlement signed by the Crown and Ngā Punawai o Te Tokotoru.